If I told you 15 years ago that she was a piece of ass, would you believe me? What? Well, what happened? Forget it. Come on, man. We're just, we're just, just talking, yeah. man. Wise guy friend of mine fucking kill me if he knew I told you. This made guy, right? Got the most discriminating eye when it comes to TNA. He's at a club one night. This broad's all over him. And she's got a really nice body. She's horny as hell. As they step outside, they walk over to this picnic ground. She starts blowing him next to this swing set, right? He's about to shoot his load. He reaches down, you know, and starts fingering, undoes the skirt, reaches in, grabs hold of a goddamn prick. Jesus Christ. Crying game. This is a true story. So my friend, right, he can't let this story get out, and he wants to humiliate the freak as much as he was humiliated. So he gets this fucking acid, you know? Burns everything. He pours it on her arms, on her face, everywhere. Her prick. That's one bad motherfucker. But that's how good-looking this broad used to look. Had this wise guy friend of mine totally fooled. She had to get a glass eye. Fucking shit! Hey! Hey, come out of there! He used it! What? The friend of mine, Stone Wise Guy, John used his whole fucking story. The she male and the acid, it's all here. This is Joey Cipollini's fucking story. There's no character named Cipollini. Forget it! You can't put that in there! It's not the same at all. The fuck you talking about? You said your wise guy friend was at a swing set. This guy gets his dick sucked to the Statue of Liberty. Don't you understand where I come from? I explained it how many times? Where are you going? What is this shit? You don't return my fucking messages? Christopher, this is so not cool. No, you listen to me now, you stupid bitch. You cannot use that story. Okay, all right. This is neither the time nor the place. What, you want to see me clipped? <laughs> come on, have you touched base with John? What the fuck? I call... I spoke to his jerk-off assistant. She said I should take it up with you. I, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't even know who that would be, that assistant. Sir, are you here to see David DiCamillo? Get the fuck out of here! Look, I'm flying into LA this afternoon. We'll touch base. You were just gonna leave? What, what are you talking about? My script. Christopher, based on Mickey Blue Eyes' first weekend foreign, there's a wait-and-see attitude towards Mafia-related projects right now, so we're gonna have to pass. Did John say that? Are those his words? I speak for John, and if you'd let me finish, we want to assure you that we'll certainly take a look at anything else you write. You're good. Christopher. Fucking walnuts don't lie as good as you. Amy! Uh, David's ready mm. to see you. Right this way. <clears throat> Chris, it was wrong with us and... and Greg and... all that. I really liked you. It's getting kind of William Inge here, isn't it? I gotta go. You fucking D girl! Excuse me? Excuse me, I'm a vice president! You fucking asshole! <laughs>